What's up everyone? It's your girl Faye. I'm back again kama kawaida to me as always. Uh, so I'm here with a song by Dikanda. Uh, reminds me of Wakanda. Uh, so the song is uh, Ajotoro. Uh, so join me. Uh, let's watch or rather listen to this uh, Ajotoro and uh, try to understand what it's all about and uh, hopefully get to enjoy the music. Uh, so I'm hoping to see you at the end where I'll be giving my comments as well as interpretations. And uh, so without further ado, let's hear what uh, Dikanda has to say about uh, Ajotoro. I love the Ajotoro. <laughs> tribal uh like uh instruments and uh even the dancing looks are uh, tribal kind of having it uh so let me know in the comment section uh i didn't research about uh dikanda uh i think i need to do that after listening to this so let me know in the comment section uh which uh language the song is uh so yeah let's continue but i'm loving it despite not understanding the language music is a universal language a little bit back Let's continue.
she's singing, uh, it's sounding to me like uh, a tribe in Kenya, uh, the Kalenjin, Nandi, the, actually the Nilotic, uh, the plain Nilots, it's sounding to me like uh, it's from there, but uh, that's just, uh, you know, I'm just uh, trying to think the language and uh, that's what is coming to mind, but I'm sure it's not that language, but uh, just wanted to let you know I love it a little bit and uh, yeah. I hate to say something. <laughs> a universal language i didn't understand a thing but uh, i enjoyed the rhythm i enjoyed the uh the music the instrumentals yeah uh, of course even the vocals so yeah language just is a universal like music is a universal language and the language in the song doesn't really matter uh, so I'd love to know still, <laughs> I'd love to know what the song is about. So unfortunately, I'm not going to interpret the song or uh, give a takeaway from, actually, I do have a takeaway from it, uh, but uh, I'm not going to interpret the song. So let me know uh, in the comment section what the song is really about. And uh, I'd love to hear more from uh, Dikanda. Uh, so I'll do a small research on who Dikanda is and uh, yeah, even understand where they come from. Maybe that will give me a hint uh, of uh, uh, the tribe maybe a uh, tutoro uh what the song was so anyway uh yeah back to the song i say that i have a takeaway my takeaway is actually the fact that uh, if you noted uh the part where they were smiling bubbly i was also smiling uh so just wanted to say the takeaway from that is uh energies are uh, contagious so if you surround yourself or rather you listen or uh, watch stuff that is uh with positive energy the uh, like uh, happiness and all that then uh, your mind will just read that and uh, like you'll feel uh, happy or rather the happy hormones will be generated and all that but uh, if you uh, like uh, surround yourself with uh, sadness and uh, uh, dwell on that sadness or rather listen to sad things not saying that listening to sad music is bad but uh, like uh, if you consume too much of that you might be a sadist yeah so anyway <laughs> or rather you might be a sad person uh, so anyway, that's uh, it for today. Uh, so thank you for watching this with me. Always a pleasure. Uh, this episode is sponsored by Jensen. So Jensen, thank you so much for sharing this and uh, for introducing us to Dikanda. Uh, so let me know in the comment section if you are a fan of uh, Dikanda, other songs that you'd love to see me listen to. Uh, so of course, I'll, I'll uh, check, check them out. Uh, so yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one and uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also remember to turn the notification bell on so that uh, you don't miss out uh, on any episode to support this channel kindly check the description below for details and uh, for now your lovely lady is out so peace out and uh, bye